welcome this is the age case make sure you hit the likes subscribe and hit the bell i'm just going to be talking about 9 11 the first episode was called a certain day and it was going through the financial side who was involved and how it was executed on the day the second episode was going through the molten aluminium planes theory which no one really talks about and how molten aluminium destroyed the building's integrity and it brought the buildings down that way. Episode 3 was about building 7 and how World Trade Center 1's collapse and its debris falling onto it caused 10 floors of fire. Episode 4 is a, probably the hardest one is about the Pentagon and how a plane was sent into that building. On September the 11th, 2001, at 9.37 a.m., American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon and 184 people lost their lives. What you are hearing now is the audio from the first responders in air traffic control on the day of the attack as they have noticed a fast moving plane going through all of the flight paths causing disruption and they are alerting the White House and the Pentagon to evacuate which to be honest with you it was not enough time and it was far too late for anyone in the Pentagon to evacuate. Give that. Give that. Yeah, stop all departures. Yeah, went in the Pentagon. When it looks like it went in the Pentagon. Okay, we have our Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld declared war, not on foreign terrorists. The adversary is closer to home. It's the Pentagon bureaucracy. He said money wasted by the military poses a serious threat. In fact, it could be said that it's a matter of life and death. Rumsfeld promised change, but the next day, the world changed. <laughs> and in the rush to fund the war on terrorism, the war on waste seems to have been forgotten. My 03 budget calls for more than 48 billion dollars in new defense spending. More money for the Pentagon when its own auditors admit the military cannot account for 25 percent of what it already spends. According to some estimates we cannot track 2.3 trillion dollars in transactions. 2.3 trillion with a T. That's eight thousand dollars for every man, woman and child in America. The Pentagon's inspector general partially substantiated several of Minnery's allegations but could not prove officials tried to manipulate the financial statements. Twenty years ago, Pentagon employee Franklin C. Spinney made headlines exposing what he calls the accounting games. He's still there, and although he does not speak for the Pentagon, he believes the problem has gotten worse. Those numbers are pie in the sky. The books are cooked routinely year after year after year. George Amon? Speaking. Hi, George. My name's Craig Ranke. I'm an independent journalist. I was over at Arlington National Cemetery today speaking with a few of your uh, colleagues, your ex-colleagues over there. We've been talking to people, George, who saw the plane on 9-11. We've been documenting 
basically what everybody saw on that day. And I came across your interview with the Center for Military History. You saw the plane on 9-11, right? That's correct, sir. Yeah, going through your Center for Military History interview, uh, it sounds like that you were actually inside your office at the time. Is that right? That is correct, sir. Okay, well, why don't you just kind of give me a rundown of, of your experience? Yeah, well, I was in my office, and I heard this loud rushing noise, of course. Uh, when we had heard on the, or I had heard on the radio that, that uh, uh, a plane might be coming, you know, or to crash into the White House. So anyway, I heard this loud noise, and I looked out my window, my office window, and I looked, I, I, one window faces towards uh, uh, Columbia Pike, and the other window faces out towards the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, and, and I guess you were there, you know how the proximity of the, the office building, or the, the maintenance, maintenance building to the Pentagon. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, I, I heard this loud rushing noise, man, I'm looking up in the air, and I see this plane is coming right at us. I thought, holy mackerel, they're going to smash right into the into our building, right? It appeared that it was coming right for us, actually. It was looking like it was coming over here for the buildings where we are over here. And it went, you know, right over over the, the parking lot. The parking lot of what? The parking lot right there by the, by the uh, maintenance complex. Oh, okay, of Arlington Cemetery in, in front of the maintenance buildings, the parking lot. Yeah. So you're saying it was it was directly over the top of that? Yeah. Where those buses are right now. That's over the parking lot. That's right partially over the parking lot. One of the wings partially over the parking lot as it came across. The plane was, the wingtip was probably about, I want to say where that fence is. That would have been about the center line of the fuselage. Right where that, that fence is. Well, this is our parking lot right here. Yeah. And That's, so the tr it came right over the parking lot. Let me ask you, did you see it approach before that? Like, um, uh, did you see it approach perhaps before the Navy Annex? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, right at about the Navy Annex is when I, you know, the, the noise was getting so loud, and, you know, and I was looking, and, then, and right, it came right over the top of the Navy Annex. Right over the top of it? Yeah, directly right over it, you know, and it came and made it, its approach that way. Like I say, I thought it was going to smash into our building right there. Okay, so it looked like he was headed towards the maintenance buildings there then. Right, right. Do you remember the color of the plane? <laughs> no. No, hell no. I, right. By the time I seen it, you know, like, I focused in on it coming in. I said, holy Christ, it's going to hit us. And then it went right over the parking lot and then blammo into the... Okay, well, let me ask you this. You know where the uh, Sicko gas station is, right? Yeah. Did it look like it was to the north or the south of the Sitco gas station? It was right in between, in between the Sitco gas station and and the the maintenance complex. Okay, so the north of the gas station. The parking lot there. Yeah, that's that's exactly what all the other guys said. So, yeah. did you happen to see any other planes? After it already hit the Pentagon, because I round, rounded up all my guys and we headed up on top top of the the highest point, the cemetery there, up by Section Eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there was, yeah, there was like those, those, uh, jets, uh, Air Force, or, you know, those, uh, oh, oh, man, I can't remember exactly what they're called, but... The, the F-16s you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sure. Um, kind of jets, yeah. So you didn't see any other planes, uh, than that, though? Any other, um, commercial jets or cargo planes no, or anything? Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, no. All right, then. So you were the facilities manager, is that right? That is correct. $2.3 trillion Donald Rumsfeld announcing it the day before. Also, we have witnesses that say the plane flew directly above the Pentagon and the bomb went off, as we can also see from the footage from around the campus of the Pentagon, as well as the one from the petrol station, which they've completely cut out the plane and you don't actually see the impact of the plane. You just see an explosion. So there was a lot of shifty stuff going on around the Pentagon and the day before, weeks before, months before, so a lot of things had to be hidden and this would have been a perfect time to have a false flag.